Boop. Marshal Kwan and Sergei Gritsky. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gritsky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. No idea. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. I guess that's my job. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. This place is ours now? Yep. Noisy alarms and all. Courtesy of the Patriarch, we can talk more once we get a little peace and quiet. Okay. The reward of just getting that to stop would be amazing. Servitor bot. A lion, a lion, a lion. I am 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 a lion. That is so good. All right, this base has been out of service for decades. Have you been on guard this entire time? Kiss ass one requirement not met. Sneaky shit, your security system is showing signs of neglect. Uh, neglect. We're from IT, we're here to fix you. Whoops, our mistake. Okay, uh, sneaky shit. It is Golomancy, you're right. Slip shop repairs in intervening time. Facility. Did I just convince them not to fight? They look like the old Nintendo Robs. Computer. The terminal is dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirs for the first time in years. As it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Yeah, you use Rob for one game, Gyromite, right. And you're sitting there trying to get the stupid robot to pick up the spinners and you just want to do it yourself because the robot's so slow. I remember that as a kid. Oh my God. There was Dr. Mario too. It was like the only other game that used it. Eventually you query the machine for command identity. It replies, command empty, designate new command. Command empty. Designate new command. Shall we play a game? Install yourself as command. The camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen line by line. Command recognized. Security alert canceled. Ah, silence. <clears throat> Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. You push the button. Good job. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. Yes, tell me. Tell me why I'm here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Okay, so you're called the Patriarch. But you have had three kids. One of them you find useless and two of them betrayed you. Maybe you're just not the best dad. Maybe. I don't know. Just saying. 
You're looking for protection when they attack? Are you asking us to become assassins? So you need us to round them up? You want us to act as emissaries to your children? Make peace? You're asking us to become assassins. What? You think I want to kill my kids? You think I'm even afraid of them? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's kind of what I thought until the point where you said those other words. Yeah. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Yes, but how do you feel about severed limbs? What if taking your kids alive is impossible? Perfectly clear. Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Okay. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. Not the Gippers. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? What's your shoe size? We'll need more background information on your kids before you go after them. We have a few things we'd like to ask about the Dorsey's in the ambush. Bartering requirement not met. Oh, man. Uh, background on your kids. What do you want to know? Their shoe sizes. For one thing, we must have plenty of competent people in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with your children? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. What do we need to know about Vic? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, <laughs> terrorize the servants, set the house on fire. Oh! And he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Okay. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. Guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. We're going to have to kill him, aren't we? Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's going to do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh... Claims he's captured some rangers as well. Okay. <clears throat> there were other survivors from our convoy. That's great news. He better not hurt those rangers. And if he does, you're still bringing him home alive no matter what. Remember? Toltex, <laughs> good point. Wonder where he learned that behavior from. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? All right. What kind of man is Val? <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy. You're talking about me? Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Oh. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. <laughs> that was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. 
So Valor isn't dangerous? No, but the Gippers are tough and well-armed. And Denver's a death trap. All right, tell us about Liberty. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Okay. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more fire. Gotta level up for her. She's gonna be well protected. You're expecting her to try to usurp uh, you? Sounds like she's a born leader. At least I raised one. You'd better. Anything else? Let's ask about the ambush. Uh huh. Who were the Dorseys? The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but. <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Don't you think Vic, Val, or Liberty were behind the attack of our convoy? Or do you think? Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. You fool. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. All right, enough about the Dorseys. What else do you need? Thank you. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. Sheriff Daisy. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Sir, yes, sir. Sounds like a piece of cake. Dorsey's, this will be a pleasure. Enjoy yourselves, Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want a return on my investment. All right, let's move out. I want those fancy mech suit things. Dear. <laughs> and there's the two morons. You have a new mission to view its details. Okay. Primary missions progress the main story. Secondary missions are optional side quests. You just received the primary mission, Cornered Rats. So your next step should be to pay a visit to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. Okay. Ooh, level 17, Psychopath. Okay, so Vic... Wow, going after... Okay, so you're going to go after uh, Valor first. Then Vic. And then much, much later... Liberty. Alright, shortly before we arrived, uh, a large group of Dorseys attacked. The attack failed and most of the holdouts are holed up in the Garden of the Gods. The Patriarch asks us for help. Okay, so that's that. No secondary missions yet. Sweet. Did I level up? Starting at level 3, your Rangers will earn one attribute point per level. Attributes always cost one point to upgrade. Attributes are the source of all your vital stats. You want to live longer, run faster, shoot straighter, or hit harder? There's an attribute for that. Okay. <laughs> what should a sniper have? <laughs> now that now that we can look at this for the first time. Um My girlfriend made her character did max speed and hit confirm. She trolled me. A gun. A gun would be good. You just got to that crazy library in Salasta? What the heck? It's a lot of fun in there. Good luck. Intelligence, awareness, awareness. Awareness does what? Hit chance? Oh, hit chance would be really nice. Yeah, I think we'll we'll start with that. When, we, when we're able to respec, we gotta respec her a little bit. Yeah.
All right, we also got three skill points, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so I can give her one in sniper. Uh. Oh, the one point in sniper is a lot. Undo. This costs two. Okay. So if I do. So, you know what? I don't want to miss stuff. So we'll keep her at three sniper rifle. Let's get these up a little bit. Okay, and then Bog Otter. Attributes. Uh, I think I want to go coordination with him. I like action points. Is there a point where I'm going to have enough action points for him to, like, fire twice in a turn? You had two snipers eventually. You one pumped intelligence, the other pumped luck, Glacial Sin. Oh, interesting. Talk to Sergeant Greatsky. I will. I will. I'm just leveling up. Oh, is that how I respec, Siri? Oh. Maybe that's what you meant. All right. Explosives, big guns, hard ass. Mechanics. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be doing big guns. Maybe just do explosives. Can you save your skill points? That's what you meant, Siri? Okay, got it. You can save these, right? You don't have to spend them now? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Recipe discovered. Pocket saw pup. Need a med, hypo, uh, grenade, ammo, or kill a robot, but don't have time for shopping. Crafting lets you do useful items out of scrap and other components. Try to get started. Click on the crafting button in your inventory. Or press semicolon. I've never seen a hotkey like that before. That's some hotkey. Let's celebrate 26 months of shopping. Martinis all around. Shaken, not stirred. F did you hear about the physicist who wanted to lower his body temperature down to absolute zero? His colleges refused to let him perform the experiment despite his repeated assurances had be zero K. Zero K. Thank you, Adverse, for the 26 months. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome to uh, my first Wasteland stream ever. All right, select an item from the list and use the craft item, okay? All items require scrapped and more specialized items. As you increase your skill and explore the world, you'll unlock new recipes. What is a pocket saw pup? The smaller saw dog design collapses into a fairly comeback form, but the tips of the saw blade jut out slightly. You have to be careful how you throw it. You need an industrial saw blade for that. Okay. Repair kit. Requires three mechanics. Oh, I have that. And uses the repair of vehicles and robots. Grenades. Frag grenade. Oh, you can just make it. Spikes. Ammo. I'm gonna make a frag grenade, can I? Oh, I need, oh, you need 96 scrap. That's a lot for one grenade. Okay. All the spikes? What do the spikes do? Made from rusty nails, okay. This ammo is only used in the jankiest of homemade weapons. It's funny. And you want to beep? Beep, 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 beep. 18 bucks and a handkerchief. Pick the lock. Old journal. Empty cans of Aquanet. No bad hair, just bad air. That's fantastic. 
pages of this journal are yellowed with age and the ink has faded. Gabriel Reyes and Althea Wesson came to our compound today. They were a ten bit tense when Sydney shot at them, but fortunately Jordan was there and recognized them from their time over in Balkan Park. They brought some coffee and we talked over a warm drink. It was nice, civil, pleasant even. Strange not to be at the throats of someone not in the family, but that's the whole point, I suppose. They want us to head back into the city next week and meet with a man named Saul Buchanan. They even suggested relocating to Colorado Springs, abandon the Peterson. Imagine that. We've been safe here for years, and they want us to move out of what became, become neighbors with them? And those despicable Noxes. We'll go to the meeting. They said this Buchanan fellow is very persuasive, and they promised us a tin of that coffee, so it won't be a total loss to check it out, but I'm certainly bringing my guns. Hmm. Holy cow, you just realized why it's called Aquanet. It's liquid net to keep your hair in place. You know, I don't know if I ever put that together e either, Arrowwolf. Until you just said that. How funny. But it's Aquanet, not Aguanet. <laughs> Should be blue. It's Aqua. <clears throat> Well, it's a good thing I have lock picking. Because I wouldn't have gotten the Hot Wheels car. This metallic toy car dreams of open road. Should have been called a mullet net. Uh, Adrenal Enhancer requires cyborg tech. Frag grenade, hunting knife, spikes. Pocket dock, armor mod for the chest. Wide choke. They're giving us lots of stuff. Rad tech armor requires strength four. Merc helm. Merc armor. Let's loot this stuff. All right, let's see what we got. That requires four strength. All right, this. Armor plus four. Let's compare it. Armor three. All right, yeah, we want that. Uh, crit chance? Armor plus three. Okay, so coordination. You know what? Let's put this one on. We're not gonna... Obviously, turn the graphic on for that. And... Give him the hat. All right, where's our friend? Where's our two guys that we just met? Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want oh. to discuss staffing and recruiting, that kind of thing. Okay. Let's talk to Marshal Kwan. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Greatsky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. Oh, he's but nice. now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits, just like the Patriarch promised you. I like that his voice is always really down here. I wonder if he talks about his laundry this way. I can't find that damn other sock. I swear this machine keeps eating my socks. No, you shouldn't put the fabric softener into the liquid detergent section. Otherwise, you'll have to clean it all out with paper towels, and it'll take four, four friggin' years to do that. But, let's see what you're going to do now. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Hmm. That's quite the liberty. Yeah, while you were doing that, I just installed this high-tech combat AI in your vehicle. Hope you don't mind. Were you able to change the character stats? Not yet. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. She still feels so bad about that. I do. It was funny. Should be more recruits. It's shocking, soon. but funny. 
Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Speak to Sergeant Greatski to hire new rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four can be rangers. The other two slots can be filled by companions, such as Marshal Kwan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help you out all the same. You'll find plenty of companions on your journey through Colorado. Does the cat count as one of my companions? Okay, before we get to all that, I have a few questions. Of course, ask away. Can you and Quan tell us more about yourselves? Uh, well. <laughs> this guy did not like that question. Well, uh, I like romantic comedies. <laughs> well, Sergei won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning and saved the old man's life about a hundred times. Right, Sergei? It's been 72 times. 75. Oh, I was Tops. so close! What? Now, let me tell you about Mr. <laughs> Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys of Colorado Springs or the people that <laughs> live there better than Dashing Darius Quan. Dashing Darius Quan. I can't believe I almost guessed it. You're too kind, Sergey. You two volunteered for this? Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same so old, itchy. same old in the marshals. And retirement was driving me stir crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. You both seem awful eager to help a group of unknown outsiders. Why are you really here? It's no lie that I've been looking to leave the marshals, but you're right. That's not the whole story. The patriarch asked me to keep an eye on you, so. Here I am. And I am truly sick of retirement. But, yeah. I'm doing the Patriarch a favor, too. So you're spies? Let's say... Liaisons. The Patriarch wants you to succeed. And he knows it's not gonna be easy. You're strangers in a strange land. You don't know the politics. You don't know the personalities. Who hates who? Where the bodies are buried. That's where we come in. We're here to make sure you don't make too many rookie mistakes. Step on the wrong toes. I'm trying to get this architecture out of my way. <laughs> I guess that's good there. <laughs> and yeah, we're supposed to report back to the Patriarch about how you're doing. But you didn't really expect to be left completely to your own devices, did you? What was the deal with the alarms and the robots? I'm not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago, and it was stone quiet. We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. How long has this place been abandoned? Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe... ten years back? Before that, all kinds of bandits, militias, and cults have lived here since the deluge. Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. We should check around to see if there are any current occupants. Squatters. Could be what set off the alarms. Oh, well, that's a good question. All right, what's the deluge? You've been hearing that word a lot. Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire. Because, well, that's what it was. Okay. Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. Okay, what was the radio operator saying about putting a combat AI in our vehicle? Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Oh, that's nifty. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. That's cool. All right. Okay, what's next? Show us how you got, uh, show us who you have lined up. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So, pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. Okay. That shouldn't be hard to do. <laughs> uh, Dust Monkey Games, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. I like your name. Hi, Tiki Tiki, by the way. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Manage squad. I can retrain. Does that cost? It's going to cost money, isn't it? 
You adore Wasteland 3? It's my first time playing. Cost 200 bucks? I don't... <laughs> I don't have the money. I have no money for that. No money for this. So this is where I can make new people? Ah, oh, I can make two more peoples. Or you can do create custom. Oh, it's cool that they give you so many people, though. Banshee. Bison. Uh, hi, I'm Bison Bill. Black Eye Betty Butterfly. Crash. Professor Higgs. The Preacher. Ice. Doc Nails. Devlin. Danny Smiles. Sasquatch. They came from the hills. Oh, 27 months. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was Tiggy Diggy. 27 months. Such a long time. Bogotter Thank you for the resub. Love, Bogotter love. That is a long time. Thank you so much for the resub. You're awesome. I like Sasquatch. Shell shock. Thunder. Wolf and Zeus. Oh, he's a pyro, isn't he? I think I'll create custom characters. <clears throat> but I'm gonna take a quick break before we do that. All right, hold on, ready. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Okay. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now, you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Okay. Surveying the base sounds good. We should get the place staffed up. Any ideas? The Patriarch said the Sheriff Daisy needs our help. Not interested in that. We want to go after the Patriarch's kids. Okay. All right, uh, we should get the place staffed up. Any ideas? Well, I can take care of the rank and file, but you're going to want mechanics, medics, an armory officer, that sort of thing. A competent staff is important when the going gets tough. Helping Sheriff Daisy could be a first step. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Hmm. Meanwhile, I'll start cleaning up here. Take a look around before you go. See if you want to keep any of this junk before we dump it all. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Okay. All right. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So... What if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Oh no, Jack Groovy, are you having problems problems with the library? Yeah. So I found Celasta uh, playing on normal difficulty really tough in the beginning, and then it seemed to get uh, a lot easier. The boss fight I played yesterday kicked my butt, but besides that, yeah. You're having issues with Misty Step. Hold down Shift when you're trying to do the proper elevation should help you out uh what do you have to offer us well i know this city like the back of my hand and this city knows me my time in the marshals means i've got connections and trusted informants everywhere plus i'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper and though it hurts my civic pride to say it there are places around here where those things might come in handy. Okay. Great. I'm at your disposal. Let's take them. New party member. Lead the way. <coughs> New companion. All right. You've recruited your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member. Unlike the rangers you create, companions are pre-made characters that have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and they can leave you high and dry. You can have up to six characters in your squad. Up to four of them can be ranger recruits, leaving you at least two spots open for companions. There's no reason not to take them along, provided you can maintain their loyalty. I like that. I, I like that they give you certain slots for 
they're NPCs. In certain slots, you could just customize all you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... I guess we'll... Let's check him out. What does he do? Marshal Quad. He is a level 4 law keeper. Sniper explosive expert. Okay, so he's higher level than me. Uh, he's got the convincer assault rifle. Where's his skills? Alright, so he's good at automatic weapons. He's a kiss ass, which is good. He's got first aid, which is good. But we, he's got sneaky shit, with, which overlaps with... Azaria sneaky shit. Okay, that's unfortunate. But he's got automatic weapons. Uh, perks? Puncturing shot? Okay. So would you guys make two more characters now? Or do they cost money Rangers. to recruit? Good to see you. These volunteers you mentioned, where are you getting them from? Um, if you're gonna be our chief of security, we need to know more about you. Happy to tell you what you need to know. What's your story? Well, came here with my folks when I was a kid and was a young man when Saul was trying to unite the families and make Colorado a state. I got behind him right away. He had leader written all over him, even back then. I've served at his side ever since, fighting against the monster army, consolidating power here in town, helping him expand our borders. What Mr. Gradsky means is that he played a key role in many of the Patriarch's greatest victories, and he had no small part in making Colorado what it is today. You're too kind, Darius. Well, the fighting's never really ended. Trying to hold it all together is a constant struggle. Happy to. What's on your mind? Sure thing. Let's have a look. Okay. You can make two. They cost nothing. All right. So help me out, guys. If I have an explosive guy and my sniper, um, Marshall Kwan's doing automatic. What other stuff do I want? I guess we could get ideas here. Top skills. Hiring cost zero. It was a way to people to recreate their mains if they didn't like them? Yeah, okay. Oh, nice. We're back here again. Let's look. Um, we don't have anybody with leadership. We don't have anybody with barter. Could do a tanky melee character. Yeah, we could do that. A charismatic leader. Okay, so what kind of weapon for a charismatic leader? And we could do a tanky melee character too. Automatic weapons? See, but is it, let's see, what did, uh, what did Marshal Quan, what did, what did Quan have? Hello. I can make two more characters now. Can I? No, you can't oh, make them. Okay. <laughs> She's like, can I yeah. make them? Just <laughs> Might as well just go ahead and reset that, uh, that streak when it's, uh, still the same day. Yeah, true. 
See, this, I have, I have no instincts when it comes to this at all. It's like, I'd be like, oh, if it was like Solasta, I'd be like, well, we have a, we have a fighter and we have a wizard. So I need a thief and like a priest or something like that. And this is like, I have a sniper and a rocket launcher guy. I don't know. What else do we need? Bladed weapon. Two more clowns with all speed. Yes! Yes. Make a stoner with blunt weapons. That's pretty good. Blunt weapon. Blade for melee. A brawling weapon. Brawlers start out weak and have huge potential at higher levels. They also gain crit bonuses for consecutive strikes. So make, uh, so make with the jabby jabby. Blunt weapons. Doesn't get more basic than hitting people with a stick or more satisfying. Blunt weapons deal high damage to enemies in heavy armor. And with a little training, you can stun them too. Bladed weapons are perfect for fighters who like to get up close and personal. Let's do blunt. This is not going to work well, is it? Um, so what would you do? You need strength, right? Melee weapon bonus. What else would you need? Coordination. Luck. Probably need speed too, right? To be able to move around. Battlefield, right? You want to be able to... Strength, speed, coordination maybe? Coordination for action points? Something like that? Skills? Brawling. Makes you more effective with fist weapons. No, melee combat. Melee combat. Uh. So we don't have anybody with armor modding or weapon modding. Is armor modding and weapon modding? Uh, can I make more people than go into my party? Can I make somebody who just does weapon modding and armor modding? and leave them at the base? How would they like gain levels and stuff then though? If I never take them out. You can make a modder. Yeah, I'm not make I'm gonna make the leader next, Yamido san. How do they let gain levels though if they just sit in the base? Oh, we need toaster repair too. They all gain in party or not. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna not worry about weapon modding or armor modding. Uh, we have a lock picker. We need, we need nerd. We need a nerd, a brawling nerd. A weird science. Nerd. Probably is melee combat the only thing I'm gonna need? Or am I gonna need another weapon too? <laughs> so a LARPer. Yeah, we're making a LARPer. It's perfect. All nerds are brawlers, but not all brawlers are nerds. <laughs> um all right, weird science, nerd stuff. Melee combat. I don't know how this works, gang. This could be totally terrible. Should I, should I specialize in toaster repair with this person too? Toaster repair, nerd stuff, weird science, melee combat. I feel like I'm making the worst characters ever. Cannot be revived in combat. What would 
Variations of drunk kung fu have flourished in the wasteland. Masters of the form stagger unpredictably and strike with wild rage. They are not, however, popular neighbors. Gain 50% damage while drunk. But melee bonus damage is down 20% rate. Okay, so you get less damage unless you're drunk. Melee damage bonus. Blunderer. But your crit chance is minus 50%? People like teasing you about dumb strength and the smart application of force. All right, uh, bot bag. Not be revived during combat. Mime, Poindexter. Toaster repair needs to be an active member. I'm, I'm making an active member right now. Yeah. Fox, you just announced the game you were working on? What did you just, what did you announce? Way of the squeezings. Do we want to, do we want like a drunk fighter? We got to pick what this person looks like. Jurassic World Evolution 2? Oh, nice. Nice. Is that the one where you, you make a uh, Jurassic Park? You make like the, uh, it's like the, um, is it another like sim type game? I think my son played the first one. Okay, so I don't know if we should spend tons of time on the face if I'm just going to put on a helmet. Uh... Sorry I chose that, right? But we'll never actually see the mullet because she chose the, uh, the clown face, right? Where's the, um... Identification. Male. Recruit. Okay, we need a voice. Here they come. Get ready. Let's do this. Are you crazy? You want to brawl? You want to brawl? Enemies alert. New target. They've spotted us. Uh-oh. Here comes the pain train. Come and get it, scumbags. There you go. It's a park builder. Oh, nice. Congratulations on announcing. That's awesome. When's it come out? Okay. Background. For a brawler. Melee damage bonus. Lethal weapon. Okay. There we go. We're in it now. We're in it now. Get ready. There they come. Are you are you crazy? Damn. Damn. Shit just got rid of. Are we going? Let's do that one. Okay. Lethal weapon. Male. We need a name. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I like how she says that. Damn. All right. Oatmeal. There we go. Oatmeal. My name is Oatmeal. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. That's right. We can make... Wait, how do we get the... Uh... The skin color we want. <laughs> We could be a giant. We could be a frost giant. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. This is 
great. All the options. It's almost too many options. I like that one. Maltese Falcon Pillow. Thanks for following. You have never tried a brawler build? What's the weapon you go for? I'm... I don't know. I have no idea. This is my first time playing. Um... I chose uh, blunt weapons, though. All right, I think I'm going to leave it with no... Uh, I want to see him in all of his magnificence. What about the jacket? <laughs> the poofy jacket! Kind of like the big poop puffy jacket. Yeah. Yeah, we just started this today, uh, Maltese. Okay, armor color. It's gonna be a giant blue puff ball. There we go, physique. We want him to be tall. Tall and stocky. There we go. And then we need a portrait. Where's my portrait? <laughs> um, none of these quite fit. Oatmeal. Too bad I can't put glasses on. I would like to have glasses. Oatmeal! I don't know. Let's go with one of these. One of these with the helmet, so then it kind of fits. There. Confirm. Okay, so we got that guy. We got oatmeal. Now we need a leader type? Maltese Falcon says, are you new to the genre or just this game? I've played a lot of turn-based uh, RPGs. I'm currently playing Celasta, uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker. I love the Divinity Original Sin games, uh, but I haven't played any of the Wasteland games. So, post-apocalyptic RPG is not something I'm overly familiar with. How was Solasta so far? It's really fun. Really fun. And we're probably going to play some more of that tomorrow. Okay. So, I need one more guy, gang. One more character. Let's make this one female. Oh, this one. Okay, higher. Yeah. Um, let's start with the skills. I've never played any of the Fallouts. I played, Fa actually, I played Fallout 1 back when I was much, much younger. Yeah. But I've never played any of the Fallouts. Must see more Tainted Grail. I've been playing that at night, Rabbit. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so what would a leader, so, uh, so leadership... Two leader. We don't have anybody doing barter. Do we have anybody with first aid? We don't have anybody with survival either. All right, so automatic weapons maybe. You have to any character have two weapons like automatic weapons and small arms is that okay give me some give me some advice for a leadership character it will show you who has the skills by the way not advisable for to have more than one weapon type okay 
So let's go down to... Well, I guess we'll do automatic weapons with this one, too. Uh... Anyone? Adverse is nice and got some good news. You got into a 5th edition campaign based on a whole homebrew setup that's been around for a few years based on Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, nice! I hope you enjoy it. Somebody uh, told me earlier, hey, you should make like a leader type character. So I've got leadership. Um, pump gun leader or SMG? Which skill would that be? Is that small arms? Handguns and shotguns. All right, let's do that. Let's do small arms. Let's try a shotgun. All right, if I do survival, leadership, sh uh, small arms for shotguns, what other, should I pick another skill? I forget who, what, okay, we have Azaria for Animal Whisperer. We have my character for explosives. Do we have anybody with first aid? Or will we get someone soon with first aid? What's hard ass do? It uh yeah, it's for intimidation checks. We have a hard ass. Uh Quan was a kiss ass, right? Check what Quan has, but then I have to escape out of the uh character crater. All right, we'll give him first aid, too. Toot, 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 and then we'll do small arms up to four. Let's try that. Okay. Would you do a, a quirk for the leader? Leadership has no benefits on you. That seems bad for a leader. Maybe we'll do no quirk on the leader. Attributes. Charisma? Uh... Something like that, maybe? I have no idea. Charisma, awareness, coordination. So you don't need it. Who needs intelligence? That's a good question. Yeah. One more point. Uh, Charles Davis Kennedy says, when you highlight a skill, it tells you if anyone else in your team has a skill and at one level. Oh. Oh, yeah, over here. You have to scroll down. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're awesome. I think somebody else was trying to tell me that. I just didn't see where that was. Uh, okay, so nobody's got survival. I got toes to repair. Barter. No one's got barter. Oatmeal's got that. Sneaky shit. Azari and Marshall Kwan. First aid. Marshall Kwan does have level one. Do I have weird science? Uh, yeah, I think, oh, okay, so Oatmeal's got that. I'm gonna leave armor modding out. Nerd stuff, mechanics. So this person's got survival. You get someone with barter quite soon? Ah, okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay, so we got leadership, we'll leave barter out. Survival. 
And then first aid, I don't think we need because Marshall Kwan's got that for now. So let's take that out. And I can't see, I can't, I don't think I'm missing anything. Except um, barter, we're going to get on somebody else. One first aid is okay. All right, we'll give him one first aid to use med. Oh, you need one to use med kits. Oh, that's good. And then. We'll do another leadership. Okay. Starting weapon. Pump shotgun. I don't know what she's going to look like yet. Okay, female, we need a voice. Spotted. Here they come. Farted? Get ready. Get ready. Here they come. Shoot! They shoot! Come and get it, scum! Here comes the pain train! Let's do the jerk. Well, you can't... I guess it doesn't matter if she's the voice of the jerk. Alright, what is a background... for a... leader? The boss? No. A bookworm? Experience bonus plus five? Okay, they level up quick. I can get behind that. Let's see what she looks like. Give her more charisma? So should I take away, all right, let's see. Like that? So what exactly does leadership do? Nearby allies gain 4% hit chance plus 10% damage. Ah, okay, so it's like a buffer. They buff. Oh, you meant in the attributes. How's that look? Better? All right, let's do it like that. Lower the luck. Am I making this or are you guys making this? All right, she's the unluckiest. All right, let's make her appearance. She should be the only normal looking one in the whole group, even though I just found these eyebrows. <laughs> How great. Wait, I, I, I know I said normal, but you know what? <laughs> oh man, that's pretty good. No hair, look at that. Bald. Make her look like she's from KISS, then she'd fit right in with my other party members, wouldn't she? It'd be perfect. Like it's like Aloy. Now, you know what? I kind of like that. That's pretty cool looking. Alright. No helmet. Jacket. What would a leader wear? A leader would have the fur, right? Yeah. Okay, and then armor colors. What is this actually changing? Oh, it's her pants. Okay. Just need a name. 
You can change your appearance later. All right. Good night, Atomic. Take care. Oh, we need a portrait, too. Portrait and a name. Um... That one there. Okay. And I just need a name. So we have Oatmeal, Log Otter, Azaria. And, uh... His gig? I was gonna do Flapjack. But then I was like, Flap Jill? But that's not as good. Just Beth! <laughs> I like Just Beth. There you go. <laughs> no, don't cancel. Are you sure you wanna leave? No, don't cancel. Uh, confirm. Now you're hungry for Flapjacks? Okay, there we go. There's our crew. Ready. There you go. There you go. Anything else? Nope. Uh, goodbye. I'll be here. Okay. We got our full party. Um, just wondering how this game is a jump on point if you haven't played the other two. I haven't played the other two. Um, this, Wasteland 1 is from 1987, so I don't think most people are going to go back and try to play that one at this point. Um, but I heard the two more modern ones are great. Yeah. But I'm having no problem following the story even though I haven't played it. There's going to be references, obviously, that I don't understand, but I think that's okay. All right, should we should we explore our own place first? I want to change the uh, button to highlight everything. Hopefully, I can do that. Highlight objects, yeah. Much better. Toaster repair three. Oh, I don't have toaster repair three. Cold food. The food on these tables is cold, partially eaten, but not rotten. It's clear someone recently finished fled mid meal. Okay. So somebody's still here. People that set off the alarm. Oh, here, here comes some refugees. All right, let's go deal with this. They remastered Wasteland One. Oh, that's pretty cool. Please, don't shoot. The woman is gaunt, her clothes rag ragged. Uh, she is surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're the insane clown bossy. We're rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, uh, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us, but you're not beholden to them. She shoots a fearful look at Quan, but he does not seem to notice. Uh, where are you from? 
We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. My question is, wh who's this Wiggler over here? And what the hell are they doing? This is the person that I want in my party. <laughs> Did you set off the security system? Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago. So we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. So it was their fault, okay. Hey, Shaveria, what's going on? Did you hear about the New World Deep Dive event tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I haven't, no. There's so much going on the next couple of days. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and I never said anything off before. Um, can't you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. All right, you could stay. Sorry, you have to leave. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we let this these groups stay in our military base? Dale Hackett. I'm sure they'd be helpful and also cause problems. They have nowhere else to go. Shaveri, are you trying to tell me to do the right thing? Just Bath says yes. Your call won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. All right. You said yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. The refugee's haggard face breaks into a smile. A few of them hug each other. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you. All right, go for clean the toilets. Chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing, Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us. Now you're giving me things to do. All right, now get out. Hear that, everyone? We got to make ourselves useful around here. All right, Del Hackett. Oh, look, all these guys are named the same. Refugus, Refugi. All right, now we're going to steal all your stuff. Including this soldier's note. And this moldy sock. October 12th, 1998. Six. No. Seven. Months. Ah, oh, so the bombs fell in 98. Um, had an incident at the West Gate. Some civilians dug under the fence and tried to make a run for the commissary. Sergeant Peters told us to open fire. Standing orders. There's to be shot on sight. They didn't look like much to me from 80 meters. And when we got close enough to inspect the bodies, I saw why. They... They looked like scarecrows. Just skin and bone. The oldest was... Maybe 15. Every time I close my eyes, I see that kid's face. God forgive me. I can't do this anymore. Ow! I got shot by myself and... Ow! It hurts. It's a little morbid. Alright. You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? Can we ask you about the base? You've had more time sure. to explode, explore it. Did you touch any of the equipment in the war room? Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of... Well, uh, of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. Have you checked out the med bay? We stay away from that awful room. Oh, really? Nothing but death in there. And have you been in the brig? Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in, living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I, well, I, I left him locked up after I met him. Oh. I, I felt bad about that. He was cordial enough, but, uh, 
He just kept asking questions that felt off. And those glassy eyes. Okay, so we have a problem. What did you find in the armory? Movie traps, mostly. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. I told everyone to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Okay, that's Careful it. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Customized uh, appearance. Custom companion appearances cannot be customized. Okay. People oh. are Oops. people. Oops. And sometimes they need help. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Uncaring world? No more Karens? Okay, so you can change your appearance at any time, which is pretty cool. Um, gang, we have one more copy of Wasteland 3 to give away today, courtesy of the devs at In Exile. So thank you so much to them. Mods, when you're ready, if you want to kick off another giveaway, one clam to enter max of a thousand. Here's the deal, gang. If you have Wasteland 3, this code will unlock uh, the new DLC that just came out a, a, a week ago for the game. If you don't have the game, it'll unlock both the game and the DLC. So anybody can uh, enter depending. Well, the only people I would say don't enter is if you already have the DLC and the game. Please. 